Hi, this is Paul and I'm the developer of Octane Render for Moto and this is a quick tutorial showing the feature coming out in the next release which allows you to connect uh, material, Moto material properties to Octane overrides. So to demonstrate this I've got a very simple scene with a sphere and this material, sphere material, has no Octane override so it gets uh, converted on the fly. So you can see that as you change the diffuse colour the color of the sphere in the octane uh, viewport uh, gets updated immediately. So then when we add an octane override the plugin converts the moto material to an override and that green color is then coming from this octane RGB node. So when we change the color of that you can see that uh, it changes in the viewport there. So if we've got it red um, but you can see that the color of the motor material is still the original green color. So changing this green color here to purple, for example, does not result in the color of the octane override diffuse channel changing. So uh, if you wanted to connect the two, you now can. So we take the motor material and drag the diffuse color into the octane override schematic and you can see that it's a diffuse color and you can now plug that uh, if we go to the RGB color we add a channel the RGB color so we can now add this moto material diffuse color into the octane RGB color and you can see that even though we're still using an octane override the moto material diffuse color is being used on that sphere so when we go and change that so we're changing that on the moto material and you can see that it's immediately updating you can do similar things with octane float nodes um, you can also do similar things on uh, octane uh, float textures so if we go into the texture and add a grayscale color and we'll plug that into the roughness and we'll expose the pin at the channel of the value so now if we go back to the moto material and grab the roughness value you'll see it adds specular roughness, roughness to the material node there and we can plug that in here so now the octane roughness will be derived from moto material so if we change the roughness to 2 you'll see that we get a highly polished surface and if we change it to 100 it will be a very rough surface so I think that's a absolutely fantastic addition to the plugin I'm sure it'll be a huge amount of use to people um, and it'll be in the next release which should be out in the next week so thanks for listening catch you later